Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, if you can see behind me, we're building a second track. Give me a minute, I'll flip this camera around and I'll show you what we're doing. Huh? Over there's the rally track and we got a little walk through. Then over here is gonna be our flat track, our nice little circle track. We're gonna have about 10 foot wide lanes I think we're about 45 feet length. Um, if you watched our last video, you know we got a new car coming up. Uh, if you follow Traxxas, you probably already know what it is. It's one of those brand new mud bosses. So we figure we need ourselves an oval track to be racing on. And hopefully some people in our area buy some as well. And we can get ourselves a nice Traxxas mud boss class going. You know, and run some laps with each other for the rest of the summer. So we got the first half pretty well dug up here. We're just working on the last half over here, as you can see. And we've already found a couple big rocks. We're gonna have to sledgehammer apart, see if we can get out of here. We got three of them right here. Um, we managed to get a bunch of the little ones out, not a big deal. But then after that, get all this dirt raked up, make some banks. Um, we'll have to decide if we're making it a full flat track. Maybe we should bank the outside, flat on the inside. Drop it down in the comments on what you guys think we should do. Um, but we're gonna get back to work. And we'll bring you back in just a little bit and show you the progress So we've been working hard figured we'd bring you back in show you where we're at We pretty much got this side done other than a couple of piles of dirt there We got to move or use to spread out to fill in some of the holes to make it flat um, It's not too bad other than you know the little bits of vines and roots. We got to yank out once we're all done um, We're pretty well done all the way down to this corner here other than adding some dirt and banking it all up same thing over here We've got just this little tree stump thing to dug, dig out. Well, we'll do that after we get rid of these rocks. Um, and then we can finish. We got this dug up a couple of times, but we'll get it all scraped and cleaned up. The next thing here to do is get rid of these big rocks. We got like three big rocks right here. You can see the, some of the sizes, sizes of the roots that we've been yanking out. But uh, we got those big rocks. So we went ahead over to our rental center, grabbed ourselves a jackhammer, we're gonna smash these things up into a few smaller pieces so we can get them out of here, cut out that tree, and we'll be turning laps in no time. So give us a little bit, we'll bring you back shortly and we'll show you where we're at. So we figured we'd bring you back in for another little update. We got those big rocks out of here. We're just filling in uh, the big hole left by it. You can see the big pile of rocks over here, all smashed up. Um, we're definitely going to have a lot of rocks to make ourselves a nice big crawler course or if someone wants to come in and do it we got the stuff and the space for it that's for sure uh so then we we started back over here we got that tree and stuff out of here um we just got one rock right there we're gonna get the wife to come back it's not super huge but we'll get her to help us um we got a little bit right here the leftovers of the tree you can see it there we're just digging that out and cutting it out and then uh we're gonna give everything a little once more with the rototiller. We can rake her out, flatten it out, and we are ready to start turning some laps with that mud boss or modified. We call it a modified, but for those on the internet that are still calling it a mud boss, we'll kind of have to swing both ways. But uh, yeah, it won't be too much longer. So give us a little bit. We'll bring you back again and show you where we're at. So. Here we are after getting rid of those big rocks. You can see the big pile over here. We got everything broken down and tossed over to the side. Everything filled back in. Pretty well leveled out. Obviously we got a little bit more work to go. But uh, then over here is where that tree was. Got it uh, yanked out and all flattened out again. We still got a little bit of work to do on it of course. Handful of these big uh, vines and roots to grab out all, a bunch of little ones. And then uh, we've got right here in this stretch on the other side, we've got one little hump kind of right here in front of us. A little hump, it's about, you know, a five foot little hump. We're gonna flatten that down a little bit, move that dirt down to this corner, bring it up a little bit. And then if we need to, we'll just go over the rally track. We got a couple of spots there we can dig up that we wanna change. Uh, so we'll dig that up, bring the dirt over here. That way we can start banking up the corners and that kind of thing. But. Uh, we're pretty well ready to turn some laps. So we're just gonna charge our battery for our Bigfoot, charge the battery for our Slash. We're gonna get that hump out of there while they're charging. 
And then we're gonna turn some laps and start getting this thing broken down so we can see where all the bumps and humps are, flatten them down, and then it'll soon be time to bring that modified out here and start turning laps. All right, so there we have it. The first uh, rendition, I guess we'll call it, of the track is done. We've got it fairly flat, not too bad. Um, we've got a bunch of rain coming over the next few days. So that should kind of really flatten it out for us and really pound it down. Let us know where some of the holes are, that kind of thing. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty good. We do have some holes, a few little bumps and jumps along the way that we're gonna have to fix up, but uh, not bad. We haven't done any of the banking of the corners yet. That's gonna be next, but we just got it this far and we're really itching. We put a lot of work in, so we wanna turn some laps. So uh, that's what we're gonna do now. You can see we got the slash there. We're gonna start with it. And if that does okay, we'll pull up that modified, pull a few laps with that. I'm not sure that it'll do quite as well, but uh, we'll try it out anyway. And then sometime this week in between all the rain, we're gonna head over there to the uh, rally track. We got a few spots we wanna change and even out. So we're gonna grab some of that dirt so we can bring it over here and start banking up our corners. So that way we gotta have a banked outside and we have a nice flat inside, so. Give us a few minutes, we'll get the camera set up, car's turned on, we'll turn a few laps. She's uh, pretty warm out here today, so we're definitely gonna have to watch the heat with these cars. Don't wanna be overloading them. Oh, she gets a little, gets a little squirrely there. definitely see that she's a she's definitely a little bumpy I'm not sure we might have to go into our traction control our throttle seems pretty dang touchy but whoa but not not too horrible This car is just a little too fast for this thing. Oh. Well, since this one can uh, turn both ways, Oh, a little bit too much in there. Oh, I think we got stuck up there. First one sec, we'll have to go grab her. All right, well, it doesn't seem to be too bad for this thing. So we can, uh, maybe we'll grab the modified. And, uh, Oh, we're almost hung up there. Grab the modified, see what it's got to do. Guess if we just use a little bit of brake, it really helps us out in the corner. I think we still have this thing with reverse on it. We may have to uh, get rid of that if we're gonna do much more of this circle track racing. Oh, all right. So give us a second here. We'll get this car out of the way. And we'll bring up that modified. All right. And here's that new modified from Traxxas that we got it last week. If you haven't already watched the video, that'll be the last video there. It should come up on the screen at the end of this video. Just click on it and you can head back and watch the unboxing of this and we do a few laps on the pavement. But uh, let's see how this thing makes out on this kind of a rough track. This thing is still a box stock. We haven't done any adjustments to it, any of that kind of stuff. We're gonna wait to do that to another video. But, uh, oh, she definitely spins out. Oh, apparently we don't have this thing in race mode either. We got reverse on it. We'll have to fix that. But, uh, 
We just want to get out here, try a few laps with it, just to see what she's got. You can definitely see with this one, she's got a pretty bumpy. We got a lot of work to do, but needless to say, it's not hurt handling too bad. Right out of the box on this dirt. Um, I think a lot of the bouncing around with it is because of the track, but uh, especially that, whoa. Yeah, get out of the rut there. This side of the track's definitely a lot bumpier than the other side. This side we can at least get down pretty good. But uh, this side we definitely need to get some work on and get those corners banked up so that way we can really hit into these corners and slide this thing around. Oh, there's a big hole right there. We're definitely gonna have to work on. definitely a little bit pushy um, obviously the dry dirt doesn't help a whole lot not a whole lot of traction out here but uh it's kind of play with the throttle a little bit she seems to get around the corners pretty good <laughs> she's almost hitting some of those bumps and sending her straight into the air oh right off onto the grass we'll uh definitely wood wood around the outsides that's going to be one of the things we're going to have to do next as well as banking up those corners, we'll probably have to run a line of wood around the inside as well. But uh, before we overheat this car in this 38, 39 degree day, we'll call it quits. So as always, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'll be right down below there. If you have any comments on this car setup, what else you think we should do to this track, drop them down in the comments. And if you could give us a big thumbs up, and share this video to anyone that you think might be interested. It'll help us out a ton to grow. So thanks so much. We'll see you again next week.